All right, so the first thing you want to do when you're changing out the monitor is turn off the internal battery. And to do so, you go into, um, all right, so you go into, one second, go to config, go to power, and then go to disable built-in battery, hit enter. It will prompt you if you want to proceed. You hit yes, and then you turn off the internal battery that way. All right, so that's the first step. Thing that you want to do before you replace the laptop screen is that you want to replace the um, external battery. And to do so is simply just releasing these notches here. So this notch here and a notch over here at the top right. And then you kind of pull the battery out. So give me a sec because my hands are not free. Let me see if I can do this somehow because I'm holding my uh, camera in the process. So give me a sec. Um, hold on. This is not going to be easy, but I'll try to demonstrate it for you guys. But in essence, it's just holding on these notches here. So one notch here and then a notch here. But you have to do it at the same time, simultaneously. And then you can toggle the battery. So when the battery is out, as you can see now, um, what you want to do is make sure that you remove the AC adapter. So the AC adapter is in this plug here. Let me see if I can focus this. That's the AC adapter plug on the ThinkPad X260. I'm make sure that's removed. All right, so next thing you want to do in the removal process is to pry under the edges here. So you want to fold your laptop to a 180 degree angle, like a straight line. And then you just want to pry under the edges here. So I'll use like a flathead screwdriver and just pry around the edges. Give me a sec. And I will pause the video and show you what happens when I'm done. Right, so what I did to remove the panel, as you can see here, it's totally removed, is that I started from the top panel here, where the bezel, uh, as you can see where the bezel touched the screen formerly, and I just pried it off with a prying tool. This was the prying tool I used. It's like a flathead and a prying tool, and I carefully, just between the edges, just started to pry one by one around, along the hinges. What you want to do in order to remove the previous um, screen is that you want to take a look at the latch here. So it's the latch here that connects this cord, this dark cord, black cord, uh, to the previous laptop. It's a 30 pin um, pin uh, laptop plug. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that and I'll be right back. Okay, so after some perseverance and some real effort, I managed to remove the previous um, monitor, or I should say screen, and it was a bit of a hassle compared to the three other uh, ThinkPads I've had in the past. I've had an X220, I've had a T450. Um, I guess, no, this is my third one I'm doing. Uh, it was quite a hassle to actually remove the switch. So it's a bit broken now, as you can see here. Um, but it has never been this difficult before to remove the actual switch from the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the actual cable uh, from the socket. So I'm a bit flabbergasted at that, but um, I think installing a new monitor will be a success. So stand by and wait. All right, so thank you for hanging tight. So as you can see, I just pulled out a new uh, screen for the uh, X260, the Lenovo ThinkPad X260 that is. I'm about to go ahead and install it. So this clip, as you can see, it's not broken like the previous one. Um, and I'm going to install it in this pin slot right here with the cable. So as you can see, it's a bit loose right now. But this will, this here, this will actually go right here. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just plugged in the new screen to the um, ThinkPad X260. One thing you do not want to do is take off the film that protects the actual screen prior to seeing if it powers on or not. 
One thing I do see here that's different from previous versions or previous iterations of the ThinkPad is that there are no securing bolts to the screen. And that's a bit of a shock because in the past, um, Lenovo has always done their due diligence to make sure that they add uh, to add screws to actually bolster and support the screen. So it's a bit of a shock to me. I hope that Lenovo rethinks how they actually secure their screens because this really has no amount of securing whatsoever. Um, it's quite flimsy and it's also uh, quite of a shock because Lenovo, like I said, they're renowned for their um, durability. They're renowned for the military specs, but with what they did to the X260 compared to what I noticed in the X220, uh, it's quite flimsy and no support whatsoever for the actual screen. I'll be back uh, so I power this on to illustrate that it actually works now. So we are back. As you can see, it is indeed powering on. The Windows logo has appeared and the dial that spins around as Windows 8 powers up from its respective uh, bootloader is loading. And since I have an SSD uh, SATA drive in here, uh, Windows has loaded relatively quickly. And voila, as you can see, it does work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the protective film that covers um, the laptop screen. So that's up here. And I'll be back as I install the rest of it. Okay, we're back. So now that I've removed the protective finish from the laptop screen, um, you want to make sure you seat the screen on top of this uh, heat sink here that's located adjacent to the, uh, I guess these are, what are they? They look like a bunch of either screws or batteries of some sort. They almost look like a like one of those small batteries in a calculator, like I guess they call it a CMOS battery. Um, I wasn't really a physics major or a computer engineering major. I was more of a computer science major. So uh, in any case, you want to make sure that you sit the laptop screen on top of the heat sinks here on the, on the screen. And when reinstalling the uh, bezel around the screen itself, this plastic cheap thing, Lenovo is really starting to lose out on their quality you want to make sure you do this very carefully not to scratch the screen so i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and put this back on and i'll be back um, i want to make sure i concentrate not scratch the screen cheers okay so i'm back with the uh latest screen put in place as you can see it just looks much clearer but you probably can't see it on this uh galaxy s9 camera let me turn on the backlit keyboard so um, it does look so much clearer now, in my opinion. So what we're here for is that we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, internal battery back on. So we go back to um, power under the config tab. And we actually, it looks like it's enabled again. Interesting. So the built-in battery is enabled once again. We're not temporarily disabling anymore, but it looks like it's enabled. Uh, so actually there's a note here. I, I should have read the note before I disabled it. It says the battery will be automatically enabled when the AC adapter is reconnected. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know for future purposes. In the case, um, this is a tutorial for installing a new screen on the ThinkPad, Lenovo ThinkPad T260. Have a wonderful day. Bye.